Hello and welcome to this section Managing Docker Container. In the previous section, we saw how to create Docker containers, operation that can be performed on a container and how to enter a container. In this section, we will see how to manage and monitor Docker containers without entering inside the container. In this section, we will cover these areas. First video is on viewing of container logs. Next is setting container resource limits. Then we'll see how to convert a container to an image. Next, we will see various container restart policies. Then we'll summarize and proceed to the quiz at the end. Make sure you try it out. Okay, time to see what is going on behind the scene. Let's see how we can view the container output. We'll start with container logs. Most containers, when it runs, will write logs corresponding to its execution. So as you might guess, an important factor to be considered while debugging a Docker container will be the ability to view these logs. So in this video, we'll see how to do this. The command used to view container log is docker space logs followed by the container ID or the container name that we want to monitor. It is possible to view the logs of containers that are not running as well. So if a container exits or terminates unexpectedly while running, we can check its logs and try to identify the issue. There are various options that we can use along with the log command. And this will further enhance our ability to view these logs cleverly. First is minus minus details option. This will display any extra attributes that we provided when we started the Docker container using the Docker run command. These can be driver options, etc. These custom options will be seen when we use minus minus details option along with the docker logs command. Next is minus minus timestamps option. This will display timestamps along with each container log entry. This can come handy to identify when these events happened. That is docker space log space minus minus timestamps and the container ID or the container name. We can also use the shorthand minus T instead of minus minus timestamps. Next is minus minus tail option. This uh, tail option can have a parameter which can specify the number of lines to be shown. So for instance, if you say minus minus tail space three, it will show last three lines from the log. It also has an option all. So if you say minus minus a tail space all, it will show the entire log output. But be careful, the, these logs can be huge. There is another interesting option that is minus minus since. This minus minus since will allow us to specify a timestamp. So we look at the timestamp based output, copy a specific timestamp and specify that and it will only output logs after that timestamp. So far, we have seen how to see these logs as static output. What if we want to see the log of a container that is running and as it outputs? This is where we use the follow option. That is minus minus follow option or minus F. This is a quite popular option. So please remember this option. And one thing to notice if the container is running in the foreground using the minus T I option, these logs will anyway be seen on this monitor screen. These are the various options that are available for us to view container logs. Okay, demo time. Let's start a tiny container from an image alpine. We will also give a ping command to keep this container busy. Docker space run space minus ti space alpine space ping space google.com. Yes, the container has started and is pinging Google. We can press Ctrl C to exit this container. As we saw just now, any output from the container running in the foreground or attached to a terminal will show the output live. But what happens if this container goes in the background? That is, 
let's try it by adding the d option along with the command we can run the container in the background that is docker space run space minus dti space alpine space ping space google.com yes the container has started as we can see from the docker ps command and the container should be pinging Google. But how do we see this without attaching the container? This is where container logs command come handy. Let's use the log command. First we need to get the container ID or the name. Docker space log space container name or ID. Yes, we can see some lines from the log now. If we add the minus F option to follow the log, we will see the log live. So docker logs lets us see the output of a container running in the background also can show output from even stopped containers. This can come handy to debug containers. Let's try some options along with the log command. Minus minus details option. Since we did not specify any extra driver parameter with our docker run command, minus minus details don't show any extra info in our case. But in case if you, if you happen to have specified any additional parameters like drivers etc, this minus minus details option will show us. Next is let's try the timestamp option. Yes, we can see that date and time has been added to every line of the log output. Now let's now let's see the minus minus since option. We can copy a sample timestamp and paste it along. Yes, the output is since the timestamp that we specified. Next is minus minus tail option. Let's use say number three to show last three lines from the log. Yes, we see it. Instead of three, we could also mention all to show the entire log. But these logs can be quite big, so just be careful when we give this all output. So remember to keep the container logging to essentialities, which can come handy during debugging or optimizing a container. Let's try the minus F option once more to see that container is still running and we can press ctrl c to exit. In this video we learned various options that we have for us to view docker container logs.